Hello YouTube viewers and subscribers. This is Gautam Raj and you're watching Java Web. Uh, today we have planned to make you ensure about Java and we, we are going to make you learn about Java. So in this tutorial we are, we are going to show you how can you install JDK which means Java development kit on your Windows machine and also you are going to set up a path variable for it so you can access uh, this Java directly from your command prompt by giving command like Java or Java C or Java C version whatever it may be uh, you can even run your Java applet directly from your command prompt so let's see how we can do this so initially you need to download JDK from the Oracle site uh, oracle.com so let us go and download Java JDK so for new users, I'm just going here and typing Java JDK on Google. So you can see Java SE download or active technologies. You can see Java SE development kit 8. JDK means Java development kit. So you can see you have two different versions. One is Java, uh, Java JDK and Java JDK with NetBeans. Uh, so for this tutorial we are not going to include NetBeans here but we are going to work with Eclipse so we are just downloading Java JDK version 8 so you need to accept the license agreement and you need to click on download here or I mean basing upon which version of the windows you are running so currently I'm running Windows 64 bit version. So I'm going to download this one. If you're using Windows 32 bit version, you need to go and download x86 version. So once you download it, you can find a file like this JDK U825 Windows x64 executive. So go and open this file or run as administrator. So you should see, see this window with the title of Java SE Development Kit 8 Update 2564-bit Setup. So click Next, Next. Okay, now we are going to install JRE Java Runtime Environment of 1.8 version. So let us go forward. So click on next. Okay, this is asking uh, install successfully the next step uh, is to access the tutorials if you want any uh, access tutorials just click on next step next step or else click on close so that's it we have installed jdk so once you go back to your program files so select java so here you can see uh, JRE 1.8 and JDK 1.8. So go to JDK 1.8, click on bin. Here you can file all the executive files of Java, like java.exe, java.c.exe, java.doc.exe. Many of the executive files like java.w.exe, which is specially for Windows. So let us select this path. And copy this path here and let us right click on my computer or this PC in Windows 8 or Windows 7 click on properties go to advanced system settings enter environment variables so let us create a oh sorry uh, if you want you can create a specific variable uh, like java home or something like that or you can go to path select path variable and edit it 
and exactly beside semicolon paste your path and close the tags and enter a semicolon click ok and click ok and ok and close this window to ensure that uh, java is working fine go to your command prompt so here press windows r if you are running on windows 7 or windows 8 enter your cmd and click ok and here you can find uh, the command prompt just enter the variable java i mean sorry the command java and you should see all the commands uh, which you should give you could you could give into this uh, command line so let us try another command java c dash version so it shows up what was the current version we are running so we were running on 1.8 so this is perfect uh, this is how we need to set up our java development environment uh, jdk so thank you for watching my videos uh, please subscribe to our channel thank you this is gautam raj from gi web signing off